Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Short Play, an occasional series about games I like on a variety of platforms, new and old. Now, just a little bit of housekeeping before we get going today. Uh, previously, Short Play was a regular series that aired every Wednesday on this channel. Um, because I have day job commitments and stuff now, Short Play is now going to be just something I record every so often when I feel like it. So these will crop up on the channel every so often, but they won't be regular like they used to be. So I just recorded this this week because I felt like it. So. Today we're going to be looking at Trackmania. This was a 2020 release from Ubisoft, developed by Nadeo, the creator of the Trackmania series as a whole. It's the ninth mainline title in the series, which has been running since 2003. Now, Trackmania, if you've not come across it before, is one of those series that has remained quietly popular over the years, despite not a lot of people tending to talk about it at any given time. It's always had a highly dedicated following in Europe, however, and was the holder of six Guinness World Records in 2008, including biggest online race, most popular online racing sim, and largest content base of any racing game, with the latter referring to the hundreds and thousands of pieces of user-generated content created for various installments of the series over the years. Trackmania has always been designed as a very open sort of game, with the included tracks being just the beginning of the experience. The long-term appeal of the game comes from the built-in track editor, which allows you to create your own race courses that you can then share online. These tracks can be raced solo in a time attack format, together with friends in a hot seat or split screen multiplayer, or online in a simultaneous time attack format. The 2020 version of Trackmania is considered to be a spiritual successor to the freeware installment Trackmania Nations in that it's free to play. In the free game, you get access to a selection of 25 seasonal tracks that update quarterly, a simplified version of the track editor, and an arcade online mode that features a rotating selection of user-created courses. Unlike the free Trackmania Nations, however, there's also optional paid upgrades. A standard yearly subscription, which is about £8 a year, allows you access to the full version of the track editor as opposed to the simplified version, plus access to player-run multiplayer servers. Uh, while the club subscription, which is about £25 a year or £50 for three years, allows the most dedicated players to create their own clubs, host their own content and multiplayer servers, and act as community leaders helping to keep the game alive. And if your subscription lapses, you keep access to the full track editor if you've purchased it, plus any track of the day and seasonal courses you've downloaded, so you don't have to stay subscribed if you don't want to. Trackmania has always been one of my favourite series of all time, and this latest version is no exception. So, let's go play Trackmania. Okay, here we are with Trackmania, or Trackmania 2020 as most people refer to it, because it's one of those games where they haven't put a subtitle or a number after it to let you know which version of the game it is. So, um, as I said in the intro, this is effectively a reimagining of Trackmania Nations, which was uh, a, a very popular freeware installment in the series. came out around the same time as Trackmania United, which was kind of a compilation of all the um, environments that we'd had before. Then we had several Trackmania 2 games, which each had their own environment. Uh, there was a version on the DS and on the Wii. I haven't played those ones, actually. I would like to try them at some point. Um... And Trackmania Turbo, which came out on Xbox One and PS4 and PC. Um, and now this. This is obviously what they're trying to push as the main Trackmania game now. Um, so in some ways it's kind of a slimmed down experience from previous games in that you've only got the stadium environment. But the stadium environment was always the most popular one anyway because people see it as the most kind of flexible environment you can do lots of different things with it the cars that you drive in the stadium environment are probably the easiest to handle as well um so that makes the game as a whole fairly broadly accessible to people um while at the same time providing lots of flexibility and interest for those who are um taking the game a bit more seriously okay so um i have bought the standard access to this game which means that i i can enjoy most of its features i can play the seasonal tracks i can play track of the day i can play online i can go down to these club campaigns down at the bottom and pick any of the custom content that appears in those i can search for new custom content i can create my own custom content the only thing i can't do that requires the more expensive um subscription is create a club so i can't create a page like this that's the only thing i can't do um everything else you can enjoy for eight pounds eight pounds um which is pretty nice okay 
So, let's start with a nice gentle introduction to Trackmania, if you've not come across it before. We'll do the first training map. So, Trackmania is a game where you are given a point-to-point -point race in most cases. There are a few lap races, but for the most part it is point-to-point -point races. Uh, and all you have to do is get from start to finish as quickly as possible. And then repeat the process until you can do it even more quickly. There we go. That was a very simple course. It's a training course. I beat my own time by 0.617 seconds. For a gold medal, I need to do it in 8 seconds or less. So let's have another go. That's not going to work. So you can hit the button and immediately restart. That is like the big strength of this game. Similar to games like Super Meat Boy and stuff. If you mess up... All you do is you hit the button and you try again straight away. There we are, gold medal. Beautiful. And that's what track radio is, basically. However, the courses do not stay that simple. <laughs> These are all the training maps. Um, so let's have a look at the spring courses, which are the current seasonal tracks for the moment. Uh, let's try one I haven't got a gold medal on yet. Uh, course number three here. Okay, so this is one of the 25 seasonal courses that are currently available uh, at the time of recording. These update every quarter. Um, if you have one of the subscriptions, you get to keep all the ones that you've played previously, uh, as well as playing the new ones. If you're on the free account, however, uh, you can just play the current ones at any given time. See, there we are. Messed up already. Start again. So success in this game is all about learning the courses, understanding how your car handles, and taking the perfect racing line. So you notice that this course is on a dirt surface, rather than the um, the concrete surface we had in the training course. And that handles a little bit differently. And then there's an icy surface, and there's sort of metallic surfaces you can drive on as well. So getting a feel for how all those different surfaces handle is an important part of mastering track mania. And as you can see, it starts you off fairly gently, but with a few opportunities to um, enjoy a bit of a harsh penalty for not handling yourself properly. So in this one, if you just hold the accelerator down for the whole time, you will go flying off things. So you need to understand when is the right time to let off the accelerator, when is the right time to actually apply the brakes, and when you can go full tilt. Gold medal! Beautiful! Alright. Uh, let's try course number five then. Let's see if we can get a gold medal on this one. So, when you are uh, playing in single player, you can either drive alone, which is what I tend to prefer to do, um, you can race against your ghost. You'll see your personal best ghost is recorded at any time, so you can sort of see how you compare to previous runs. You can also race against a ghost of the um, um, the gold medal holder, and you can race against other opponents from your region in the world as well. Uh, so when you first start the game, you choose what part of the world you're from, um, and it will track your progress against both the worldwide audience and people in your local region as well which is really nice okay drive alone off we go don't remember this one down to a little bit of grassy stuff there but it's, it's sort of mown grass so it doesn't really slow you down too much there is also sort of long grass that does slow you down so you need to pay attention to the difference between those here we are, this is proper track mania. Loop de loop! Whee! Missing checkpoints, that is also an important part of the track mania experience. Whoops! But yeah, I have loved this series ever since its first instalment because it hasn't really fundamentally changed all that much over the years, it's just refined itself. So like particularly when it comes to things like the 
the online modes and the clubs and that sort of thing that side of things has become much more kind of accessible and well implemented than in previous years it's like back around the time of trackmania united which was one of the ones that i played the most setting up your own club page was a real pain in the ass because you had to do it in this sort of weird coding language that didn't really resemble anything <laughs> um but in this it's just a case of having the club subscription create a club put in your info upload some tracks and you're off oh dear this is not going well but yeah i i love this game because it does not take itself seriously in the slightest when you first start playing it might look like it's a vaguely serious racing game with like oh serious cars and serious tracks and a serious stadium but then you get onto something like this with its huge bank corners and its loop the loop and massive jumps and that sort of thing and you realize that no 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 this is not a game that takes itself seriously at all this is in many respects a spiritual successor to games like uh, stunts on the pc and hard driving and doubtless some others that i can't remember the name of the stunts is the one that ms dos gamers always bring up all the time never actually played that myself but i know it's like a supremely popular early example of the sort of driving a real car but you're doing stupid things in it sort of subgenre of racing games I'm talking a lot to cover up the fact that I'm m repeatedly messing up this track and trailing far behind my personal best which is annoying right, I can take him there no, no maybe not it's just, this loop fucks me up every time all right, through the checkpoint. Another loopy loopy loop. There we go. Right, that reactor boost down um, sort of power up pad that we went over there. Um, that's one of the new things in this version. Uh, there are several sort of reactor boost down and reactor boost up things. You'll notice sort of boosters coming out of your car tires when you do that. What they do is they apply sort of pressure and boost in various different directions that either sort of causes your car to stick more heavily to the track which is great for things like loop the loops and bank corners and that sort of thing uh, or the opposite way you get a sort of flying car in some situations as well it's great it's great fun all right improve we can we can shave off 0.388 seconds i'm sure let's do this Why difficult to keep your speed up around that corner? Who that? This is looking quite nice. Up the middle. Oh, I'm not sure that's, that's not enough, is it? It's got to be 33 seconds. Oh. All right, come on. We can do better. I need to get that first corner more smooth and also the entry to this bank corner needs to be smoother as well and the trouble is just sort of going flying there and that wastes a couple of seconds as you land again because you can't steer in the air you do have a certain amount of air control like if you apply the accelerator or the brake in the air uh, that will affect your speed and also the trajectory that your car is taking So that's another sort of little idiosyncrasy of the game that you need to get to grips with in order to succeed no no good the other thing you know, kind of need to get your head around is turning a lot earlier than you think you need to if you want to keep your speed up uh, If I, there we go Still not quite as good as that PB though, is it? Right, 
boost around through the checkpoint. We're ahead. Are we ahead by enough, though? That is the question. That's, yeah, there we go. Gold medal. Lovely stuff. All right, exit. So, you see that those tracks there, they're split into five different colours. The white ones are the easiest, the black ones are the hardest. Um, and yeah, so, for the um, seasonal campaign, you can set your times on there. You can track your medals, or you can go down to the bottom, and you can look at your stats in terms of your district. See how you're getting on in Southeast England. So, I'm currently 275th in Southeast England, with a score of 6,611. Not entirely sure how that's calculated, but it's something to do with your medals and your times and so on. And then also, you can look at each track and you can see the local leaderboards, local as in your local area, um, for each track. The times that you should be aiming for if you want to move up the rankings. And you see this fractions of a second in it at times. Right, so that is solo play. Let's have a look at live play. So there are a few different things you can do here. You can play the the seasonal tracks in multiplayer as well. Um, track of the day is one of the most fun things to do. So this is a different community-made track every single day. And so this will give us a look at how the multiplayer mode works. So there's the track that someone's made. When you create a track, um, you can sort of set up this initial cutscene here to give you a a preview of what people can expect from it. So this is called Very Descent. Right. Expect lots of restarts on this one because it's hard. Because I did actually try this one yesterday. It's it's at the time of recording. It's three hours until the um, the tracks rotate to a new one. So I have been around this a couple of times before, and I know how difficult it is. But that also means I know how to do some of the parts as well. It's just actually, um, you know, doing it. <laughs> Right, so the way multiplayer works in this, you will see over on the right-hand side of the screen there is a countdown timer ticking down. Um, that is the amount of time you have in this session to set a time by completing the course. Uh, when that time expires, a winner is declared based on whoever had the best time. Whoever set the best time during that period. And uh, after the timer expires, you then move on to a new track and repeat the process. If you're playing track of the day, though, it just it just plays the same track over and over again in these sort of half-hour sessions. Um, so you get the enjoyment of sort of competing against people, but you don't change tracks when the match is over. You just have another match on the same track because that is the track of the day. These wall riding bits, I'm so bad at them. Alright, there we go. Down here. And hit that. And there. Oh no! Bollocks. <laughs> now, you can actually reset to the last checkpoint you reached as well. Um, but more often than not, that doesn't really help all that much because it, it doesn't reset the timer to how you were uh, at that checkpoint. Um, and also if you made a mistake immediately after the checkpoint then when you reset to that checkpoint you will be reset in the position to make exactly the same mistake as well so with the tracks being as short as they are in most cases it's normally in your best interest to just start again because that gives you the opportunity to practice the the opening sections a, a bit more as well now one thing you will quickly learn in the multiplayer mode is that some people are very 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 good at track radio <laughs> and it is not at all unusual 
even if you think you're good at the single player mode, to find yourself coming in the bottom five of the leaderboard of a multiplayer match. But this is one of those games where it's fun, it's fun just to participate because it's enjoyable just watching the other people racing around and maybe picking up a few tips from their racing lines and so on. Because the whole thing is a time attack, you'll notice that you can't actually crash into anyone. So you can't interfere with anyone else's race, but you can see how other people are doing things. Oops. That is suboptimal. Um, and if you happen to be following someone who's up towards the top of the leaderboard, you can get some helpful clues on how to handle the course. Simply by trying to follow what they do. You can also switch to spectate mode at any time as well, so you can actually just ride along with someone else and see um, how they're doing things. And if you're really not sure how to handle a particular course, that can be a, a helpful means of getting oh god, getting some hints and tips on how to do things. Bollocks! <laughs> I got the hang of that bit last night. And now I can't do it. Alright. Round here. Down here. No! Fuck. But these, these track of the days, um, they are a curated selection of courses that I think ultimately are picked by uh, Nadeo themselves. But um, there is a special mode you can play where you review contenders for track of the day. And so you get the opportunity to, to race around a bunch of tracks of potential tracks of the day. Um, and give them a rating and presumably the communal ratings that the community gives these tracks also play a part in choosing what might become a track of the day as well no no good no good no good I will make it around this course at least once in the next 20 minutes <laughs> oh god why am I so bad at this game This is the thing I've always loved about this game. Like, even if you are bad at this game, it's fun. Because the, the courses are so silly and the crashes are so amusing. And it's fun trying to figure out what went wrong. And it's fun going wrong. I think that's one of the most crucial things. This is a game where it's fun to make mistakes. Because you, could, you can always learn from your mistakes. And just try something different that lets you... Do a little bit better. Or not, as the case may be. You can see my personal best there is sort of showing that I was... Previously doing much, much better at this course than I am right now. There we go, that's how you do that bit. This bit coming up is a little bit tricky. Oh! <laughs> there we are. That's that's a reset to a checkpoint moment. Since we're... There we go. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Oh. I'm getting better, though. I'm improving. That's the important thing. Overtake the personal best. Always a nice moment. No! Clip the wall. Not a nice moment. Alright. Land smoothly. And round here. 
and up the wall and around the wall and down the bit and hit the boost and hit the wall good 18 minutes 40 seconds to go I can do this Nope. No, no, no. Nope. Nope. Oh, my God. Alright, round here. Up the wall, around the wall, down the thing. Hit the boost. Bounce over there, hit the wall. Bollocks. <laughs> oh, I can see where I'm going wrong. That's what's so annoying. Missed the boost. Alright, come on. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Up the wall. Round the wall. No, fall off the wall. Man, that was a nice smooth line through the beginning. Trouble is, the second you start thinking stuff like that, you think, "Ooh, that was quite good," and then and then you you fuck up the next bit. Inevitably, always, every time. Nope. Nope. You can hopefully see down in the chat the community for Track Mania has always been very nice. They're always happy to share tips and any shortcuts that they spot in tracks and that sort of thing. Fuck. There is a certain amount of lingo you need to learn, and I'm not entirely sure I understand all of Track Mania lingo, even many years after playing this game for the first time for this series for the first time I should say but you'll find yourself picking up some of it after a while alright hit the boost use the boost to get through no <laughs> 15 minutes to go Right, I don't care about time. I just want to clear this track just to prove I can do it. Because I... I mean, I've, I've set a time. I've got a personal best. You can see that I've done this before. Fine. We'll do that. Whatever. Fine, we'll even do that. No, no, we won't. Getting the hang of jumps and sort of air control in this game is one of the biggest challenges and it's one area of my own driving that I haven't quite nailed just yet. You notice that most of the places where I'm messing up are parts where you have to land accurately from a jump. If you don't land properly from 
a lot of jumps, you can easily find yourself going into a roll or a spin or that sort of thing. And then there's bits like that where you've got to transfer between two areas by orienting your car correctly before you leave the ground. It's the same for this bit here. You've got to be straight on with that there to land down there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Right, let's keep it going. Nearly at the end. This is nearly the end. Now, you can fling yourself off the side there and go through that hoop there to finish, but it's just safer. <laughs> it's just safer to land down the bottom in most cases. Stop! There we go. 26th. I'm not the slowest. 26 out of 44 is not bad. However, uh, if you look at the leaderboard, you'll see a lot of people have not yet finished. <laughs> but I'm going to call that a victory for now. Let's just see if we can do any better. Up, and round, and down, and hit the boost, and badly transfer. Nope. No, no, no. Smooth line round the start. You can probably do that full speed if you take a better line than I do. No, don't, don't you fall off. No, no. Ugh. Up the wall. Round the wall. Whee! Down we go. Miss the boost. Who needs the boost anyway? The boost might be a liability, I've decided. Don't. Oh. Oh, why? All right, come on. Good start. That's a... <laughs> See what I mean? Never say you thought you did that bit well. Because... Because... That was awful, terrible. Worst start I've ever seen. Up the wall. Around the wall. Down the thing. Forget the boost. Miss the platform entirely. Admire Nico Seven Master parking in the middle of the track. Because he's just given in to despair. Round the wall. Down the thing. Forget the boost. Miss the platform. Good. Good. We're settling into a nice routine here. Hello, Nuka 7 Master. Enjoy your break. Try not to cry too much. I know it's easy to... Fuck. I know it's easy to fall into despair. There's only nine more minutes of this torture to endure before it can all begin again. All 
All right, get up. Around. Down. Still want to head over this tower. No. No. Why can't I do this anymore? Maybe I do need to hit the boost. Poor start there. I've seen worse though. Yep. There it is. That's that's it. That's worse. Oh my god. That wasn't a great start, but it didn't leave me that far behind my PB, so... That did, though. Hmm. Nope. Right. Up the wall. Round the wall. Down the wall. Take the trajectory as if you're taking the boost. There we go. Right, don't fuck this bit up. Right, take that straight on. There we go. Nice. Don't fuck this bit up. Around here. And don't fuck up the ending. Take the coward's way out of the ending, sure, but don't fuck it up. There we go, 10 seconds better. And I've got a bronze medal at last. I'm now down to 30th place, however. <laughs> I got a medal though, which I didn't have before. So I am technically improving despite moving down the leaderboard. Six minutes to go. Can we improve any further? wasn't great, but I, I mean, I've done worse. That wasn't... no. No, just no. Up the wall. Around the wall, down the wall. Boing! Boing! No! Oof. Oh god. That's cost me a few seconds. catching my PB this time. But I should make it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Let's see if we can make the big jump. Hoop! Oh, okay. That's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. All right. Let's have another go. Four minutes, 25 seconds to go. Can we even make it round once more? Let alone making the big jump at the end. Nope. Not like that. We can't. Oh, 
Oh, that's much easier. That's how you do that bit. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Would have stayed comfortably in the lead there if it wasn't for my incompetence. Right, around the big corner. was never going to happen, was it? Oh! Piss flaps. Huh? Okay, maybe that ending is a little bit more tricky than I thought it was. Full speed ahead! No! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Right. Two and a half minutes to go. I got a bronze medal. That's that's plenty for me right now, to be perfectly honest. I am not a Trackmania Pro. I've never claimed to be a Trackmania Pro. I just like this stupid game about cars. <laughs> Oh. Gotta perfect the landings. That is an essential skill that I just have not nailed just yet. Right, that was good, like that. Oh no! Too high. I don't think I've got enough time to finish now. But, well, let's... A bit of practice. Doesn't hurt anyone. Alright. There we go. Nice. No, 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 no. How do I keep messing that shit up? Ten seconds. Not enough. It's not enough. Oh dear. Well, I got a I got a feeble cup for it. I'll take it. 34th. 34th. And I wasn't the worst. I was not the worst. But yeah, anyway, um <laughs> having forced you to endure that experience with me, I think that's probably probably enough for now. As you see, it just then loops around and you play track of the day again in a whole new match right so other options you have like i say you can go down and look at these club rooms here that's something for you to explore for yourself though uh you need this standard access to be able to do that if you are on the free access all you can do is play this arcade mode which basically picks um a server basically um and that lasts for a particular amount of time and then you'll see in an hour's time We'll move on to the Minus Ilas collection. You'll see the schedule here. And again, you'll see it's just picking from those club servers. Um, so you do get a chance to play those. You just can't pick 
the specific ones that you want to play if you're on the free account which is which is fine really um so yeah i really like this game i like it a lot it's a good track mania game as i say it may feel a little bit more limited in some areas than some of the previous track mania games um but it's got everything i want from a track mania experience it's got a selection of official tracks to play on it's got a huge selection of user created tracks to play on the ability to play in single player and multiplayer the ability to make your own tracks um regular events there's currently sort of qualifying going on for a world championship i think if you really actually reckon your skills which i certainly don't and yeah lots to explore lots to enjoy and it's a fun game to just dip into for a few minutes at a time or you can take it a bit more seriously if you want to as well as you saw with my efforts on track of the day there it's very easy to get into a sort of addictive cycle of just just trying one more time just to see if you can improve yourself a bit more but yeah i love this game i love this game it's great and i'm upset that no one told me when it came out last year because apparently ubisoft didn't tell anyone that this came out last year either um but it exists it is free to try uh you can get it through the epic game store or ubisoft connect because it uses ubisoft connect for its multiplayer features so you may as well just get it from there the, the epic store just adds a sort of unnecessary layer that doesn't really benefit you at all um yeah give it a go give it a go because it is free as i say for now though i'll just say as always thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again next time